Hi there, my name is David O'Coyman. I'm the founder and director of Do Company. So our business makes a mindful, mobile meeting and focus pod, originally crafted around uh, introverts and people on the spectrum in the workplace uh, in order to help them, um, but now uh, helping everybody across um, commercial space, uh, science parks, education, uh, even uh, hiring out to events uh, as a mobile pop-up meeting pod for events. And we do that uh, across Europe and North America currently. Um, but we designed a product to be flat pack and shippable anywhere in the world. So we have a product in Japan, Azerbaijan, Australia, uh, here, there and everywhere right now. Uh, COVID's impacted the business uh, quite dramatically, as it has for many. Uh, in a period of two weeks in March, uh, all of our events which we had planned and all the revenue that went with those, some 15 events, uh, just suddenly uh, got cancelled. And all of our sales to workspace, education, elsewhere, um, completely dried up. Uh, all inquiries stopped, orders were cancelled or put on hold. Uh, and uh, for a significant period of time, uh, that was the way it stayed. Well, we've adapted in a couple of different ways. Interestingly, we're set up not as a traditional company with offices and employees. It's actually a network of uh, independent um, people with our own businesses, uh, freelancers, manufacturing under third party, uh, virtual assistants, um, PR consultants, social media consultant, Google AdWords consultants. So it meant that we were quite nimble and uh, that we could batten down the hatches somewhat. But we didn't want to stop uh, paying freelancers. So uh, we didn't want to be those people. Uh, so we um, hatched a plan. We also thought it was a, quite a smart uh, approach. Uh, to keep going um, from a marketing point of view, to use the time to build um, some new awareness for our business, to put ourselves in a thought leadership position. Um, so we've been getting onto podcasts, we've created some of our own, uh, we've created some documentation, um, we've uh, managed to get uh, a certification around Nook as a resource for autism, uh, which ties back very much to some of our original design uh, ideas and justifies some of the, the design thinking that went into the product originally. Um, so we've used the time uh, quite well and now that we're starting to see things uh, open up a little bit, um, we're uh, finding that Nook is well uh, positioned, well placed to help organisations uh, evolve their workspaces and uh, create more of an employee engagement experience with agile uh, furniture so that they're ready to adapt. Um, CBRE recently brought out a future furniture report and the conclusions of that report, it was as though we'd written it for ourselves. It's extraordinary. So it calls for furniture uh, for the new way of working, which is mobile, modular, sustainable, hackable, acoustic, mindful, um, and integrates technology. And honestly, uh, we were reading that uh, as our eyes widened um, and it felt like a real uh, justification for the vision that we'd had uh, when we started the company uh, four years ago. I think this is an amazing opportunity. There's a real acceleration of things that were happening anyway, but were happening very slowly. The distribution of workspace, the uh, split between uh, the office as uh, somewhere uh, which suffered from uh, a lot of presenteeism, <laughs> uh, the idea that you just had to be present uh, and seen to be working as opposed to results driven. Uh, this period, I think, has been really interesting because the leadership team has uh, has been uh, affected just the same as everybody else. So that decision making that can often happen in isolation um, is now happening in such a way that uh, decisions are being made that affect everybody at the same time. And now I think that is leading to a new way of working that is mindful of work-life balance, that uh, now appreciates uh, the benefits that um, engagement 
from anywhere can create compared to presenteeism in a pre-allocated location. And I think uh, if we really take this opportunity and the longer COVID goes on, it's a little bit, um, on the one hand, you want it to be over as quickly as possible, as we all do. But on the other hand, the longer it goes on, the more sticky it becomes. And we're noticing now that people really are finally, six months in, starting to really think about the long term and what it's going to mean for their future, for their business. Um, how they can reduce footprint in offices, how they can evolve their workspaces to be more engagement and community event oriented, how people can work from home or importantly, from uh, co-working uh, closer to home. I think co-working is going to extend into hospitality a lot more uh, in the coming years. And I think uh, things are going to be very different in 10 years time. And a lot of that will be because of the, the, the kerosene that COVID has poured onto a slow burning uh, change, uh, which was coming anyway. Um, so uh, I think in that respect, there could be some real uh, benefit from COVID, uh, which we can all uh, we can all celebrate despite the hardship uh, and heartbreak that it's created. Some good may indeed uh, come of it. Thank you.